Hello children, you are welcome to class. Today we'll be using mass drawings to represent subtraction, with and without decomposition, and relate really drawing to written method. What we'll be doing today, we use a place value chart and vertical form. We'll be decomposing, decomposing 10, 1 10 to, into 10 ones. They will not subtract from inside. We're using a different method, place value chart, and a vertical form. Let's start with this application problem. Mrs. Bishi went shopping with $42. She spent $18. How many money, how much money does she have left? To know the amount left, we are removing the eighteen dollars she spent from the forty-two dollars she have initially. So forty-two dollars minus eighteen dollars will give us twenty-four dollars. So after the shopping, Mrs. Bessie Bishi had what twenty-four dollars left. Subtraction from tens. I say a basic fact. You add ten to the whole and continue until I say to stop. So after ten minus five, you will solve twenty minus five, and then it continues. Solve as many as you can on your personal whiteboard before I give you the signal to stop. Now, we have 10 minus 5. Remember, we are going to add 10 whole to 10. That is, the next one will be 20 minus 5. Let's continue. The next will be 30 minus 5. Next, 40 minus 5. It continues like that. Okay, let's try this one again. 10 minus 8. Next will be 20 minus 8. Next will be 30 minus 8. It continues. What about 12 minus 4? Remember, we're adding 10 to the whole. We're going to add 10 to 12. 12 minus 4. The next will be 12 minus 4. Then add the 10 to 12, we now have 22 minus 4. So let's continue. After 22 minus 4, what will be the next? 32 minus 4. 42 minus 4. It continues that way. Now let's come to our drawings now. Here is a vertical form. We have a place value chart also. 31 minus 18 31 minus 18 as usual we represent our 31 in the chart remember we are dealing with decomposition with decomposition or without decomposition now for us to be able to remove 18 remember in the one side we have one one there and we have to remove eight ones from the one side. So that is why we have to decompose a 10. And after decomposing a 10, we now remove the 8. So what is remaining there? 3 is remaining. Now we we'll go to the 10 side. What are we going to remove? We are going to remove one 10. So how many 10 is remaining there now? We now have just one 10 remaining. So 31 minus 18 is 13. All right. 72 minus 36. The same way we represent our 72 inside the chart. Because we can't remove 6 from the two ones, we can't remove 6 ones from 2 ones. We have to 
decompose a ten from the ten side. Then we now remove our seeds. After removing seeds once from the one side, we now have seeds once remaining. And now to the ten side, we are removing our theory ten. So after doing that, we have theory ten remaining. So seventy two minus thirty six is 36 72 minus 36 is 36 now 40 minus 24 equal to 34 minus 17 is it true or false now we are coming back to this let's do the solving first now we have 40 minus 24 using our place value chart and our vertical form 40 minus 24 gives us 16. Now the next one, 33 minus 17. Using our place value chart and our vertical form also, we have 16. So let's come back now to tell if it is true or false. So 40 minus 24 is equal to 33 minus 17. True or false? I know you know the answer. Is this is true? Because what we did just now, 40 minus 24 is 16. Okay. 33 minus 17 is 16. So both of them have the same answer. So it is true. Hello children, with this, we come to the end of the class today. I know you've learned something. So with this, we say bye for now.